I'm here. Thanks for coming tonight. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I was actually going to ask you if I could come paint at the last light. Well, and it was so funny because I'm like, gosh, I should see who everyone was there on the first light. Yeah. And ask them paint, but it's birthday bash and it was oh, all the don'ts. Dang. So it was like Jenny, Misty, um, and Sarah <laughs> and Natalie. And I was just like, I don't want to ask yeah. them. <laughs> you know, like it's so crazy for right now for them that I'm like. Well, I was, I was close enough to the first you one. You absolutely were. Because I was popsicles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was one of the first that ones. That was, like, in May. Yeah, that's yeah. when you had a bump. That's right. <laughs> or lost my bump sometime around then. No, you you still had it. Oh, oh yeah, because when was... Porter was born in May, wasn't yeah. he? So it must have been, like, April. Yeah. Or... I don't know. Yeah. Gosh, now I can't remember. I forget the months. I do too. Should I use this or use the used one? This is like brand new. Um, if you want to use a used one, you can. There was a used one over there, but it was super, super wrinkly. So I grabbed a cleaner one for you, but it's up to you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we have a billion of those, so don't start about that. Oh, Judy, I'm forgetting all your paint. Oh, well, Dave. We are live on Facebook, but YouTube is not streaming yet. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Yes. Oh, because it's new, it might be really sensitive. So just, I didn't know if you pressed down on it, because I pressed down on mine and I got fingerprints. Well, I oh, I gave you two blues. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Judy. I like blue. Okay, great. <laughs> that works out. <laughs> what did I give you? I didn't give you pink yet or purple. I guess I didn't need to put purple in here since there's pink and blue and green because there's yellow and blue. It's fine. It's Hello fine. from Singapore. <gasps> what? Singapore. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to like carefully, and you can put that wherever it's right here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Does it feel weird that it's It doesn't feel like it actually is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's been almost two years straight of doing these, and I've only missed one, two, two, two? maybe three, because you were gone for like a month in Europe. <laughs> I wish I was gone for a month. <laughs> <laughs> I was only gone for one. Sick in January. I w yeah, I was sick at the end of the year. Brock had a sub twice. Tornado. The tornado, and then the technical difficulties. Yes. So I missed four. In two years. In two Even when years. you didn't live here, you were still here. I know. It That's is disgusting. crazy. I should probably turn on my comments. All right, I gotta figure out a better situation with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I am the only one that's comfortable. You both of you have stuff in front of you. <laughs> my mom doesn't know I'm painting tonight. She does it. She's gonna be excited. <laughs> she doesn't even paint. She watches everything. She does. She really. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. Well, your mom sounds great. Last time she came into the store, I felt so bad because I was sick, but I wasn't telling people right, I was I know, pregnant. I know. And so she's like, hi, Sarah. And I was like, hi. I don't know. I was just throwing up in the bathroom. That's what it was. That's all it was. It was a rough week. Uh, okay. Are we at 7.15? We are back on YouTube. YouTube's. Oh, good. YouTube's up now. Good tubes. That's what they're calling it. That's what, they, they, that's what the kids say. The YouTube's. Laura Jones says, so this is the last live? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, last live for a while. Well, we're still going to do lives. They're just going to be during the day. Yeah. Mostly during the work day. So we'll probably still pop in at least once a week. And um, and you can always find you on YouTube. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And we'll still do pre-recorded tutorials, which we'll release every Wednesday. That will not change. Good thing. Yes. Okay. Rita asked a very interesting question. And since it's only 7.13, I feel like we could answer it. Okay. Question. When you record the upcoming tutorials, will you have others sit in with you like you do the lives? 
I will on some of them. Maybe not on every single one. Um, but yes, I will. Here and there. I'll also add warm-ups. And I'll also add the oath. Yes. But I'm wondering if we, is it possible on YouTube tutorials where you can like mark it? So it could be like warm-ups and then it, there's like a little mark at like 10 minutes when the warm-ups is over. I don't know enough about marking things on YouTube. I know maybe. we could put in the description where the warm-ups start. Or maybe we like should. That. Do we do that now? Do we mark right. things now? In, in ways we do. <laughs> do we do it in the description? Yes. Well, you we, have like, we have like uh, the brushes in certain spots. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> some things pop up I'm for I'm happy links. you're doing this with me. Doesn't it feel weird yes. to feel your cheeks like... What's interesting is you look like one of those puppets that <laughs> are on strings. Oh, a like a, a marionette? Yeah. Or a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. There's a dummy and there's a marionette. Yeah, because you have those extra accentuated lines. <laughs> can they see it very well? Oh, yeah, they can definitely see it. <laughs> 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 well, I'll ask people who know more about YouTube than I do and see if there's a way we can mark it because with adding the warm-ups not everybody will want to do them so maybe we yep. can mark when they're mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you all know what I'm saying yes uh, it is also oh 7 15 I should probably wear my mic it is on so that we're good but oh yeah. okay so sorry great so sorry so sorry oh I love your apron my mom made it for me oh for my, my birthday. Awesome. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? Okay. Yes, okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Make Art. Thank you so much for being here on this Thursday night. I think it's the first time we've done a live. It's the first time I've done a live on a Thursday. Yeah, no, it's not. You do it all the time night. with Nicole. On a Thursday, never mind, I lied about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I forget things. <laughs> it's my first time on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's our very last live that we're doing in this way, in this format. We will still be doing lives throughout the week, just during the day. Um, a little bit more, maybe shorter and impromptu, just fun stuff. And also, um, we'll still release the tutorials as we usually do. So that will never go away. So don't worry about that. Tonight, we are painting our kitty cat. It's the very last project in our box. Ooh. Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> you can tell that Judy knows how, yes, to, <laughs> knows how to do it. <laughs> so, um, yes, here with me tonight, I have Judy, and it's actually her 71st birthday. So, happy Ooh. birthday. Thank you. Happy and she's birthday. been with us since the beginning. She's, That's called dedication. It if is. If anyone was wondering, we call her an OG. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and she was on the Summer Pop School Lives, which was probably um, over a year ago. I don't know. I'm sorry. I wasn't even it here. Was, yeah, yeah. Like eight, eight, I April here. of 18, so over a year, and a year and a half. And then we have Drea. Hello, Drea. Hi. And she was also on our very first live that we did, so it's really exciting. We're coming full circle here, you guys. <laughs> How far we've come. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. That live was crazy. If you guys saw all the purple flowers, that was our very first live. And we had like nine people yeah. in a different room. So I would like oh, yeah, walk right. yeah. to the other room and our overhead cam was upside down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had an intern. We had Casey. Yes. Awesome. Casey yeah. was there. And um, Keenan is working our camera. So you'll hear yep. him in the back. I'm back here. And uh, I think we're ready to... Judy, you got lots of people wishing you a happy birthday. Oh, See all those you. comments. <laughs> so, um, yes. Sorry, I'm just reading and I need to focus. So, we are doing the kitty cat tonight, and we are using all six colors out of our September box. And as I was squirting them on my palette, I'm like, a lot of these we probably could have just mixed, but sometimes it's fun just to have. <laughs> A yeah, lot of colors. Your exactly. Your so uh, we have the six colors are emerald green and fuchsia and dandelion yellow and azure blue and violet and honey brown. So all six of those that are in your subscription box. If you order the kit individually, you'll just get six small bottles of those. And we have six steps for this project. So our very first step is we're going to do the brown wash on the cat. The second step step we'll do the stripes on the face. 
third step, we will do the black parts, so like the shadows on the ears, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Uh, fourth step, we will do the chest and like the chin area, because that's the white fur area. And step number six is just finishing, oh no, I skipped one. Before the chest, we're gonna color in the eyes, sorry. Color in the eyes, then we'll do the white chest, and then we will do finishing details, which is like the whiskers and all of that fun stuff. Okay. And we have an outline for this project. So we're gonna outline our project, we're gonna trace it, and then we will do our oath, and then we will do warm ups, and then we will paint. So I'm using graphite paper to transfer the image. You can get this downloaded for free on our website, letsmakeart.com. Find the cat project, print this. I'm gonna use painter's tape to tape it to my paper so it doesn't get move around while I'm tracing. And then I do graphite paper dark side down. And then whatever mark you make with a pen or a pencil, it will show up on your paper. So what I like to do is I'll do a test mark and then I lift up and I just see it. And if it's too dark, I know to press lighter. If it's too light, I know to press darker. That's really smart. That's yes. <laughs> that way you don't trace the entire thing and lift it up and be like, oh shoot, I wish I would have done that lighter. Um, also, if you have a hard time getting light um, lines on your tracing, try using like a felt tip marker and you will automatically get a lighter line since it's not such a hard point. Leslie said, trace slow, I'm still eating dinner. <laughs> that was me, Lucky. I was eating a hot dog on my way here. Were you really? With my hand. <laughs> Do you happen to have any more hot dogs with you? I'm sorry, I ate it. <laughs> I saw you bring in a purse. Do you have <laughs> hot dogs in that purse? We just had waffles for dinner. It's just, one, it's just a crazy week here in Hamilton. Yes. We got Birthday Bash going on with Missouri Star, our sister company, and it's always such a fun event. Um, but my husband is a videographer for Missouri Star, so... I just left him. Yeah, he was just filming a trunk show with Jenny and, you know, just one of those crazy weeks. The store has been open for a year, too. Yeah. Like, one year anniversary. I know, we had some people oh, yeah. come in and ask about the store, and I was just like, exactly a year ago, this was open. That was also a very crazy time. Yes. Opening that store. Yeah. I wasn't here for that either. You were not. I'm just like a young pup from this you crowd. Just all in. this uh, reminiscing. You are not an OG. No. <laughs> Dre is an OG too. She used to help us pack the subscriptions. Yeah, I was so pregnant. <laughs> I actually, the first time I met Sarah, I don't know if I've ever told this story on a live. The first time I met Sarah, I was like, well, she's got paint on her arms. She must do a lot of projects with her kids. <laughs> and I never put two and two together that she was the Let's Make Art lady. And my wife had been on a live. <laughs> and I felt really bad. I was like, huh. And then I started to work here. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, Keen, so I would, we used to play soccer together two times a week. And I would come after work to go play soccer. My hands would be covered in paint because before I was filling the paint bottles that go in your little kits, mm. I was the one that was filling all of those <laughs> bottles. So my hands were always covered. And if you guys know that if you get those paints on your hands, they, it doesn't wash off. And so <laughs> he was like, well, what, what's going on with your hands? <laughs> I got a lot of comments like that. I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. Just a painter. So animals are so intimidating to me. Oh, really? Yes. You're bigger than animals. You don't have to be afraid of them. <laughs> You're Not right. all animals. That's true. That's true, touche. <laughs> me, my, uh, who's that knocking? I'm not sure. I'm going to go check. My husband decided to tell my daughter, Luna, that I beat up a bear. Oh, my God. So now she's like, Mom, is it true that you beat up a bear? <laughs> and I'm like, absolutely it was. <laughs> She's like, why did you beat it up? I'm like, it was going to hurt your dad. <laughs> and I needed to protect him. <laughs> She's like, how did you beat it up? And I'm like, I punched it in its face. And then after I did this huge thing, I realized I probably shouldn't t tell my daughter to attack bears. Right. So That's I'll have funny. to have another conversation with her about so that. Well, I didn't, I was like. 
Oh, Tamara must have been there from the beginning too. She said those teeny glass bottles in the muslin bags. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you guys were some of our very first subscribers, we didn't use the larger bottles. We would do four little packs of paint packs and the bottles would be like two milliliters and they would come in these little muslin bags with tags of the picture of the project in, on it. So you would know what goes with what and Gosh, that was that was when they were a diffuser yes. and you had to tap yes. them out. Oh my gosh! No, even smaller. Remember, like the tiny, the tiny yes. ones. They were this big. They're like this I big. Oh. We had to like I would I got blisters on my thumb from having to push the lids in on yeah. those bottles. Oh, that's so Do you funny. Remember the first box? The first. Yeah. Yes. Was yeah. That had, that was a that was a popsicle one. It was. Yeah. It, so it was May. It was May that we did the popsicles. We're, Keenan didn't leave us on a uh, front cam, so. No, I meant the the one that, that came in the 20 million miles mm -hmm. of tape around it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. That was the very first one. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That, that was the oranges, too. I remember I, like, punched out all those perforated tables. <laughs> yeah. till like, midnight, and I was so pregnant. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Who was that? That was uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Mike Lamp. Oh. I hadn't seen him in a long time. Mind he was walking by, saw me, and... How did he see you? I have no idea. It's not a clear window from the door to there you. There is, but it's very tight. <laughs> and he saw my face. That is amazing. Vision. That's incredible vision. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, okay. yeah, Bob Ross. We used to have a Bob Ross sticker on the yeah. box. You would have made... No, what was it? Bob, this makes Bob, Bob Ross so happy. Or, Bob Ross would be so happy. Right you now. just made Bob Ross yeah, so yeah, happy. Yeah, that's right. We have a million of those stickers. <laughs> we can't use them. <laughs> we use them in the That's so great. Did um, I miss anything interesting? Just We're just reminiscing. Yeah. Oh, good times. Yeah. I, I asked because uh, Mickey said, Keenan, dude. And that's it. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I have upset someone. Well, like we were apologize. talking and it was just on the overhead. So oh, nothing was happening, awkward. but I was doing a lot of... I was talking. MIA, I'm so sorry. It's fine. I don't pay you anyway, so That's it's like, true. can I really so, get mad at you? Someone said that today. <laughs> someone said that today on the, the daytime live. They were like, well, Keenan doesn't get paid anyway, so it's fine if it's shaky. <laughs> 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 it was so funny. Uh, okay. So let's start with our warm up. So set your out. No, we got to do our oath. Ooh. Set your outline to the side and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise, I promise to be kind, kind to myself. myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not to compare my work. And I promise to have fun. And I promise to have fun. fun. Thank you. Yes. Also, if you've watched our older tutorials, I used to switch those oaths up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't do that anymore? No, I do the same exact oath. I probably have stuck with it with for like a year and a half yeah. now. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. but I used to switch it up every week. Oh. And then one time I couldn't think of what to say. And so I was like, I promise to practice. <laughs> <laughs> and Al, that's when he was filming, he just looked at me like, I don't know if that was the right thing to say. And I'm like, ooh, uh, maybe I should just stick with the same ones. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So... Um, what we're going to practice is different values um, because whenever we're trying to make something seem dimensional or have form, you want to make sure you have different values going on in the painting. Um, values is all about darkness and lightness. It has nothing to do with the color. So if you're looking at this cat painting um, behind the ears, like that's a really dark value. The cheek area is probably a medium value. And then like here where the chin or in like right on the tip of the nose, that's a light value. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you have at least like three different values going on in your painting or else it will seem very flat. That is the whole secret to making something feel like it's three-dimensional on a two-dimensional surface is it's all about value. And that's true across the board for every medium, drawing, painting, doesn't matter. So um, to get a dark value with watercolor, you want to dip your brush in your water, hit it off the side of the cup so it's not dripping, and you are going to just totally put your paintbrush in the paint, like lift up a lot of paint. I've used the word bathe before. I've used the word baptize. <laughs> Whatever word you want to use. Okay, and then you're just going to paint that right on your paper. 
and that's a dark value right there. And I just want to do this so then as you go to paint, um, I want you guys to get a little bit of a feel for how much paint you need to pick up depending on the value that you want. Um, now the wonderful thing about watercolor is to get a lighter value, you just need more water. So just dip your brush a couple of times, hit it off the side of the cup, cup and paint. Oh, Kimberly, Kimberly just commented, she's like, sniffle, that made me a little teary, the last live oath. <laughs> we'll still do it. It won't go away, I promise. And then I'm going to dip my paintbrush again, paint that. Oh, we're doing... You can do it separate or you can do them next to each other, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm OG, remember? Yeah, <laughs> you're used to them next to each other, which we'll actually do next because we use that technique. Okay. So... Here you can see I have at least four different values going on and if you get really good at values you could have like a whole range where like in between each of these there would be a different value wow. kind of thing. So it just takes practice but that's okay. We're going to essentially do the next um, value uh, warm up and it's going to be the same thing like this except we're going to have them connected and this is one of the most common techniques I use which is I like to lay down my colors and then just use water to spread it out and the benefit of that is I'm getting value changes by doing that so I'm going to you can start with any color make sure you pick up a lot of it start with that dip your brush a couple of times and then right where you left off spread it dip your brush a couple of times right where you left off and you're just going to keep on going until the color disappears. And here you can see that usually when you do a value change you don't want it to be chunky as in you don't want any hard lines. So I can see here that I'm starting to get a hard line right here after my first. Yeah so you can go back and try and blend that out. and see if you can get rid of that, smooth it out. It's, it's hard to do that, so don't be upset with yourself if you struggle, because it takes a little bit of um, like finesse, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but it sounds right. Yeah. Pam Harmon says, hi, Drea that's and awesome. Sarah. Oh, Pam, hello, Pam. Drea's mom, smiley face. <laughs> Hi, Drea's mom. I'm sorry I was sick when you were in town visiting and I seemed depressed. I wasn't. <laughs> I just was pregnant in the beginning stages, which is where I get really sick. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to practice is we are going to practice, um, let's practice some fur textures. So I don't have it a ton except in the chest I'd have little pieces of gathered fur. I just want you to get used to using your round brush um, and doing that kind of texture line. So um, I'll just use honey brown, but you can use whatever color you want. Now the great thing about a round brush, it has a thick belly and a nice narrow tip, which means you can get a thin stroke or a thick stroke, just depending on through your pressure and in the same stroke. So when I do fur textures, I like to um, like practice this brush stroke with brush stroke. Every time I say that, it sounds like breast stroke to breast me. stroke. Swim move. <laughs> swim. We're going to swim. Every time I like to swim, I like to paint. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want you to practice being able to go like have it thick and then also thin. So if your line is pretty even like throughout, then I want you to exaggerate your movement a little bit where you are going to be lifting up your brush away from your paper to get that line that goes away. So it's almost like a, I used to make a noise effect with this. What was it? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And if doing it quickly like that doesn't help, then let's try a different way where in the beginning I want you to press hard so you will be purposely pressing down and then slowly lift up. That works better for me. Does that work better for you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just kind of practice that movement and then when I do kind of fur clusters I will call them I like to do um, like that that kind of line gather together over and over with different varying heights and lengths so something like that so I'll be like uh, here's a here's hair here's a fur cluster here there's a fur cluster cluster is a good word it's a satisfying word. 
yeah, it's nice. I never realized cluster. how much I liked it till right now when I just said it like four times. Interesting. And I'm like, Why that's you said cluster, a cluster. I, well, I didn't do warm-ups in the pre-recorded, uh, so yeah. I don't, I don't know. know what I did. Didn't say cluster. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tendency of, of starting off light and ending up. So what happens when that happens is usually you're leaving your paintbrush probably a little bit longer, like at the bottom. Uh -huh. So it's giving off a little bit extra paint. There's nothing wrong with that, though. Like, that's not a bad thing, so you don't need to worry about fixing that. Um, Leslie says it's easier for her to do it from low to high. You're not, and she said, what am I doing wrong? You are not doing it wrong. Don't feel like just because I start from the top and do it down, that's easier for me. If it's not easier for you, then you do it whatever works for you. I do not think that there is a correct way. Okay, is it easier for you to start at the bottom and do it that way? Yeah. But actually, I'll try that. I'm so used to starting it from the... Actually, yeah, I can see how that's easier. Uh, I still like my top down, though, but that's okay. <laughs> Just whatever works for you. If you're struggling with one way, try it another. Okay, and the last thing that we are going to practice is our thin lines because we are doing whiskers in this project. Whiskers are really, really hard to do. Getting thin lines are really hard. So that's why I, I encourage you to practice this. So I'm just gonna mix a darker color here, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use my round two because it's a smaller brush so it's easier for me to get a thinner line. However, I just would like to say that with rounds, even if you have a six or a 10 or a 20, you can still get a narrow point. It just depends on your pressure. And that is the beauty of the rounds. But I'm gonna to switch to my two. I'm gonna pick up some paint. And then what I like to do to make sure that there's not too much paint in my brush, so it's as narrow as it can be, is I sandwich my bristles. So I press down on my bristles one way, I flip it over, I press down the other way, and then that is gonna force my bristle tip to a point. And then, once it's for forced to a point, I am ready to do my whiskers or my thin lines. So I, is that dry? I don't know, here. So you're gonna practice long lines, light pressure, vertical hold. So you are using just the tip of your paintbrush and you are trying to do thin lines. I have noticed that it's easier to get a thin line if you actually work faster. If you're going really slow, you'll probably wave a little bit more and it gives your brush time to like pause and put out extra paint if you do it slow. Where if you just do it thin and like fast, I mean if you just do it fast, you should be able to get a thinner line easier. Now the other thing that you will notice is I'm moving my arm from my shoulder. I'm not planting my wrist and moving from my wrist because then I'm very limited in how far my whisker can go by using my wrist. But if I use my arm, then like this whisker could be like uh, that far if I want. It can be the length of the paper. So just, it's up to you. Do I just need more paint? Yes, oh good, can I show that? So Drea started getting some rough texture on your lines. If you notice your paintbrush snagging like this, um, that just means your brush is a little bit too dry. You don't need more paint, you need more water. Oh. So even though these are liquid, and that's the tricky thing with liquid, is people think that because they're liquid, they have water in them already. They do not. So even by picking up the liquid, it won't moisten your brush the same way that the water will. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kathy B. says, Keenan, in honor of the last live fun facts, cats stay mostly on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I think that was the first live you did with me, wasn't it? Or the first tutorial? It was tutorial. the first tutorial, the that hedgehog. That was in November. Yeah. Keenan, give me a fact about a hedgehog. Well, <laughs> hedgehogs mainly they stay on the ground. stay on the ground. That was the funniest thing. Okay. I think we are good. I think we're ready to paint. Let's do it, you guys. Pam says, I'm just glad you're feeling better and for a good reason. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> in reference Thanks, to catching all the fur together, Marcy said, so you're trying to catch the fur <laughs> all together. Yes, I am. Susan just said, what's a cat's most important characteristic? His personality. <laughs> <laughs> I love puns so much. For real, I will miss these Tuesday night laughs. That's from Laura. Oh, for real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now, my friends, have your um, scratch paper handy because we are mixing a lot of colors tonight. Lots of color mixing going on. So if you're not super confident about the colors you're mixing, test them on your paper before you put them on your page. I like to just put things on my paper because I don't mind. You're free spirited. I'm free spirited. I used to say that I was very brave and edgy. <laughs> That's how I like to refer to it. It's like, Whoa. I'm not going to test this Whoa. color. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> we'll just see what happens. <laughs> okay. So we're going to mix brown. Brown is essentially dark orange. We could just use honey brown, but if you notice honey brown, when you add water to it, it just turns yellow, which is fine if you're painting a yellow cat, but we're trying to get like a brown cat with undertones of other colors. So, um, I'm going to grab honey brown and I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to add some fuchsia to it. Why are cats afraid of swimming? Why? Why? Catfish. <laughs> what? I meant to say mice. Why are mice afraid of swimming? <laughs> I'm like, hey, Sometimes I ruin like the jokes that I'm giving for free. Do you remember how mad I Amy, used to get? Amy, I'm so sorry. Which one? Do you remember how mad I used to get when you would tell the joke but not have the answer yet? And so I'd be like, what is it? You're like, I don't know. They didn't comment yet. And I'm like, don't do that. At least I got them right. Uh, okay. So I already had some blue Classic. going on. And when you mix blue with the honey brown, it's going to turn greenish. You use the fuchsia to even that out. The fuchsia is green's complement. So whenever you're trying to tone down one color when you're mixing colors, you're going to use what's opposite on it to cut the color wheel to tone it down. That is the beauty of color theory and understanding it. So I got some good. I just had a happy accident. Yeah? I mixed the green with the honey brown. Oh, let me see. Oh, look at that. That's a gorgeous brown. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Green. Good job. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got extra blue in there. Let's see what happens when we add purple. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. So, here we go. I'm just going to like all the brown areas on the cat. I'm going to start putting that there. I'm going to start on the forehead. And I like to put my color down first. So I'll do a few strokes using like my full belly brush. And then I just grab water. And then using just water, I'm just going to spread it out. Lots of people are going to miss these lives. I know. I'm going to miss them too. We stay, so there's those little... You don't have to avoid the stripes because when you should still be able to see your pencil lines through them. If for whatever reason they disappear, you can... Uh, it's super light. Oh, is it? Yeah. I just painted straight over mine. But also I could just... If, if you paint over yours and you can't see them, you can just eyeball it. So it's not a huge... Huge problem. Um... Uh, Mary said, does the kit tell you how to mix the colors for the project? So with the step-by-step -step instruction, it's more basic instruction. And in the video tutorials that we release on Wednesday, I go over how I mix whatever colors I'm using in the box. RC said, I just don't, just so you know, I don't think I can live without Tuesday Lives. Oh. Irene said, then watch the pre-recorded ones on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just comment in the comments like you would here <laughs> yeah. be on all of our pre-recorded. Have a whole conversation. Have a whole everyone. conversation. <laughs> C 
Cecilia says, if the earth re was really flat, cats would have pushed everything off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we know the earth is round. Oh, that's funny. So I'm, I'm going into the face. I'm kind of avoiding the tip of my nose and my lips on my cat. Because we'll, we'll go back and do that with slightly different colors. Now, in the reference photo, I have lots of uh, undertones of different colors going on. Um, so for me, I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, this is just like brown. Like, where's the interesting color? So if sometimes you can just do a little wash of another color here and there to just give it some interest. So if I just grab a little bit of fuchsia and just put some fuchsia right here on top of the brown that I already painted, then you can get some tones of other colors. But maybe you don't want to do that, and that is absolutely your right. You do not have to. You are the person creating this cat, so you can make it colorful or not colorful, whatever you want. Melanie said that they could do a watch party on Tuesday nights. Yep. That's true. I'm not super, I don't totally understand watch parties on Facebook, if I'm being honest. Do you understand them, Keenan? No. You can host a watch party and join it, so then I know that everybody is watching the same video at the same time. Is that the, I think that's did I just it. describe it? I think you just <laughs> described it. I think you get it. <laughs> I don't understand it. Is this exactly how it works? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did you know? A cat with more than five digits on their paw is called a polydactyl. Mm -hmm. And it's a real thing. Is it really? Yeah, I googled yes, it. it. How many digits do cats usually have? Five. Four. They have four? Four. four. And, but, do. and then and the, the little the thumb. And thumb. then they got this whole extra digit. It's pretty crazy looking. Oh yeah, that's that's in the back, right? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just saying. I looked through the cat's I'm paw not, in a while. <laughs> I know. Like I need to study a cat's paw a little it bit more. It almost looks like an extra, like side paw that didn't finish developing. Weird. Super weird. Uh, so Penelope asked, "Why is this the last live?" Um, that is a good question. A lot of it has to do with. Um, us wanting to give you some fun new content that we don't give you right now, like um, Q and A's or quick little videos or um, showing you new products that we just got in the store and things like that. And the other part of it is I am growing a human baby <laughs> <laughs> and I need to be able to be at home during the evenings as I finish creating this human baby and also when that baby is born. So. Gotta finish bacon. I gotta finish bacon, and then I gotta like make sure it lives yeah. after it comes out. That's the key part. Really. It is. And yeah, for a while I can just strap it to me, like when it's newborn, because babies just sleep when they're newborn. But then when they're like, when he's mobile, I'm gonna be like. Maybe for the pre-recorded, he can just be chilling. He will. And we'll do a, like a quick check-in with him, making sure he's doing okay. How cute would that be? Yeah, that'd be yeah. really cute. Baby Cray check in and yeah. then it's just his little face sleeping. In fact, I may request to just hold him <laughs> okay. during the pre-recording. Okay, that's fine. You can pretend you have a son for just yes. a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm putting a little extra layer um, right underneath that section that I outlined for the eye and close to the nose. What kind of baby are you growing? <laughs> a boy. I'm growing a baby boy, if that's what you're asking. A human baby? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was Not cat. <laughs> well. Yeah. Maybe she wasn't asking that, and I just assumed. Okay. So it's looking good. Ooh, I like that color you got there. I know that's a little bit red, but I like it. Ooh, Dre, look at your textures. Yeah. Your blooms. Right. Love me some good blooms. Okay. <laughs> Debbie said I should name my son after you since you don't get paid. <laughs> that would be your payment. I named my child after you. That's a great idea. What if that's the world we lived in? You're like, I will work for you for two years if you name <laughs> my child after your child after me. Listen, Klondike 
is asking people how much, how do they, what do they ask? I think they're asking, will you give your firstborn the name? Wait, Klondike first, ice cream? Yes, Klondike ice cream is like, if you name your child Klondike, you'll get lifetime supply of Klondike bars. I don't love Klondike bars that much. I don't either. I don't know anyone that does. I just feel like there's not the right amount of ratio of chocolate to ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, it's, There's it's, like it's this much ice cream and then the bar. thinnest l- layer of chocolate, and it's I like agree. I need more chocolate in my life. Mm-hmm. You put a Hershey bar on top and then <laughs> Judy, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. Judy, you know what is up. She just breaks a Hershey bar and sandwiches that Klondike. Genius. Genius, Judy. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so I'm going to do the the um, upper lip now. Now that is just a lighter brown. So I'm just actually going to use, this is where I just use honey brown for this, and I'm going to put it in the middle because it's a little bit darker in the middle. And then I just use water to spread it to the nose and then where it meets the brown area. Marcy asked what brand of baby. What? And I just, I just love that what question. What brand yeah. of baby? I would also like to ask what genre of baby. <laughs> Somebody said, like, please do a newborn photography and have them wear a floral crown. (laughs) And I would like to say that when Luna was a brand new baby, I did a little photo shoot with me and Ella and Luna, and we all had these huge flower crowns. I'll have to post a picture. They turned out beautiful. But some people were like, why are you making that baby wear a flower headdress? Uh (laughs) Because it was huge. Oh, enormous? It was enormous on her little baby baby head. head. (laughs) I thought it was cute, though can't help it. Amy said uh, in the recording I was wondering about the calicos. I don't remember talking about this. I generally forget that I ask some questions and I was I guess my, me personally was wondering about calicos. She said they are all female because it is a coloring that is only part of the X chromosome. Whoa. Really? Whoa. Yes. So calico cats are only female. Yeah. So interesting. That's crazy. Um, okay, now I'm going to do the nose, and I'm going to use that same honey brown, and I'm just going to do honey brown right at the tip where it touches the nose, and then I'm just going to use water to spread that to the where it touches the brown that I already started. Why don't cats play poker? Um, why? Too many cheetahs. <laughs> <laughs> I started singing Poker Face by uh, Lady Gaga in my head when he said that, and then I'm like, no, that's not the answer, Sarah. <laughs> poker Face? <laughs> you know that Lady Gaga song? Yes. Poker Face, Poker Face. Oh, it just... oh, I was like, why would you think of the word poker <laughs> when you when asked, asked when the you question poker? about the game poker? <laughs> Mary Ellen Todd says orange cats are always male. What? How? I am astonished by my lack of knowledge about... Cats, cats and their different breeds. Okay. Oh, my brown didn't go all the way to where it's supposed to. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just add that. There we go. Okay. Um, we are ready to move on to the next step. I need more fuchsia. How are you doing on color? You're doing okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. I'm conservative. <laughs> you are? I am not. <laughs> I go crazy. All right, we're going to do our face stripes. Now, this will only work if you have a dry area where we're going to do the stripes. If your area is not yet dry, do not do this part yet. So I'm just going to mix a dark brown. It doesn't have to be black. If you want it to be black, throw in some blue and purple to your brown mixture. Because black has um, cool undertones, and our cool colors are blue and purple and green. But if we add green to brown, it'll just be a green brown. If we add blue and purple, it will turn it black. Judy, are you in our Facebook group? That's what what Suliberto is asking. Yes. Yes, of course Judy is in our (laughs) Facebook group, Sue. I'm wondering if she's trying to make a connection between talking to you and then seeing you on the camera. Could be. That could be it. Because Sue is one of our moderators. So that's probably why she's asking. All I right. I don't comment that much. 
Why not? Because, because <laughs> sometimes I don't have I'm anything important to say. I'm just putting you on the spot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take this dark mixture, and I can still see my pencil lines. Yeah, I can still see some of yours. If you can't see yours, Drea, mm -hmm. just look at your outline and just kind of eyeball it. All the markings will be different on the cats. There will be a cat somewhere with funky, you're fine. You know what I mean? Word dog. Word cat. Word dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm doing these in single brush strokes where we were kind of practicing the different pressures of light pressure, push down, and then lift up, and you should get like thin, thick, and thin. If that's difficult for you, then just outline it and fill it in. It's not a big deal. Thank you for categorizing <laughs> the cool colors for the undertones. <laughs> Erin is asking if it's just blurry on her end. On her, I, mine looks pretty clear on my overhead. Okay. May just need to be a, a refresh. April said her paintbrush just lost a, a hair while mixing. She's like, does that mean it's time for a new brush? Maybe. Check out Let's Make Art. <laughs> <laughs> Go to letsmakeart.com for your, for your new brushes. <laughs> Okay, so there should just be a few, uh, I think there's one here actually that I didn't paint. Yep, that looks, that looks good. And now we're gonna do uh, the black areas on our cat. So using that same dark mixture, if you need to make it more black, add a little bit more purple and blue. And I'm going to do, on the left side of the eye, I'm gonna put my black in there. I also want to make sure that I paint my pupil on my eye. Now the black area, if you need to switch to your two to do this, there's nothing wrong with that. You actually want the black outline on this eye. You're going to outline the top and the bottom. So I'm filling in this black part and then I'm going to continue that bottom line with black. Just really thin. You don't want it too thick. And then on the nose, on the right hand side, there's a little section and that is also black. Like so. And the mouth. So I'm just gonna use Remembering, practicing my thin lines like we did in our warm-up, I'm going to just kind of do this mouth line, and then it's a little bit black right where those two lips meet in the mouth. I must have missed something on the tracing. What's up? Where am I at? Oh, no, you're fine. Here, let's, I'm just going to lighten this line that you put down a little bit because we want that shadow that's coming off of the cat, to this one right here, yeah. to be nice and nice and dark. That's where the, the nose is kind of poking out and where their nostril is. There we go. Cool. Oh, and my pupil. Oh, my cat. It's always funny putting the pupil in and not the rest of the eye because all they always look like Shocked. eyes wide open. Like, Ugh. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I actually started, usually how I paint is I do my eyeballs last, but I noticed teaching that when you leave the eyeballs out to the very last second, your animal is gonna look weird until you put eyeballs in. And I realized that people were giving up before they did that step. So I now oh. try and do my eyeballs quicker like somewhere in the beginning or middle so people don't feel like their painting is bad. <laughs> but it's true, your, your cat looks way, or any animal you paint without eyes looks really creepy until you paint in the eyes. Laura says eyes are wet, don't touch them. She 
said I had to do with throwback. Because I am, I don't know, I don't have my mic on. Oh. Eyes are wet, don't touch them from Laura. She, then she said had to do the throwback, but I don't remember I don't the remember, reference. I don't remember saying that either. Did we say that? I wouldn't put it past us. It's been said. <laughs> I'm sure. I just can't I'm remember sorry, when. Just bit. I'm sure it's been said. Okay. Oh, that is funny. All right. Okay, we're going to work on the ears while we're letting that dry before we go on to our eyeball. We don't want to go in. Oh. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> All right, Drea here had her mouth was still wet when she went to do her mouth line, so it just bled. Um, that's okay. What I am going to do, and this is going to happen to you guys. The point is never to freak out and know that things are fix fixable. I'm just going to lift this up. So I'm going to erase that black line and then lift this up. I'm going to reshape your mouth a little. So okay. <laughs> okay. So then when this dries, when it's totally dry, you can go back in and put in the black shadow on the okay. nose and the mouth line, okay. but don't do it yet. Okay. Oh, Judy. Is that your phone? I'm just kidding. I'm just well, kidding. It, it, it must be 8 o'clock. <laughs> Do you have an alarm? you got to remember, I'm from North Carolina, and you're on an hour. Do you have an alarm for when these are? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's so great. All right, I guess we're okay with your phone going off. <laughs> so Don't be sorry. It's Don't totally fine. Me. If it makes you feel better, <laughs> too. Birthday. You're yeah, right. You're yeah, right. You're you good, can do yeah. whatever you want. Eat a Klondike bar with Hershey's around it. I'm sorry, people while watching. <laughs> They're fine. Okay. Oh, Susan says, Drea, I love your blooms. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to work on the ears while we're waiting for our black parts to dry because we don't want to do our eye coloring just yet because we want to make sure our cat eye is nice and dry. So um, I'm just going to take a dark brown mixture and kind of do the outline of this ear and the tail end. You might have already done this, and if you did, that's totally fine. It's okay. Now this little pocket that I have outlined here has just a little pink hint in it. Um, and that's because if you look at cat's ears, there's like a little piece of skin that kind of, remember we talked about this in the pre-recorded, Kenan, and you didn't yeah, believe me, and then you Googled it, and then you said I was right in front yeah. of everybody, and it's well. so satisfying. <laughs> So I'm just going to do like a little pink hit right there, hint, right on that little skin flap. If you paint it over it and you don't have that anymore, not a big deal. People won't notice if the skin flap is missing because yeah, they probably does. don't know that it exists. Yeah. So you're fine. Okay. And then the left side of the ear is a brown. Ooh, it's too green. Put some red in there. And then the right hand side is also that like pink skin color. Mickey asked if you could please do a brief tutorial on animal eyes, eyelids, and glares, etc. Not right yes. now, but. Yeah, and this is where those lives that we're going to do during the day, that's where those are going to come in really handy so if you guys have ideas share them with us hello at let's make art i'll have customer service kind of keep track of your ideas that you want and i can absolutely go over just small tips and tricks and things that i look at while i'm painting i just want to give you more content different content than what we're already giving you with the um, pre-recorded tutorials okay and then i'm going to grab some of that fuchsia mixed with a little bit of brown so it's not like too vibrant and throw that there too because if you look at animal ears when the f when they don't have like fur like the closer to the inside of the ear it gets it turns more pink because that's skin and it doesn't have a lot of hair on it mine just looks like a bloody ear <laughs> it does not look <laughs> bloody <laughs> Okay, hold on. We just lost your edge. 
that is totally fine. They were really wet, so I probably should have told you guys to wait a second between painting them. That's my bad. Let's lift up here. Okay, and then let that dry for a second, and then you're gonna go in and put the edge of the ear like here, like that. Okay. And then do some dark like fur hair coming up right there. So I kind of outlined. So, yeah, so let this dry, put this edge in with the dark brown. Do a little bit of pink right here. Okay. And then some dark fur coming up. Just let that dry for a second or else it will just all blend out together. Sarah, my canine wants to know, question, for the lives you will be doing during the day. Yeah. Will we be notified in advance? Uh, yes, we'll give you guys a heads up or it just depends. We, we want, how do I say this? Like when we did our last live, when I announced that we were getting rid of lives, we posted on the Facebook saying, hey, like I think an hour before, we're like, we're gonna go live at 1230 or something. So we'll do things like that. We'll, we'll give you a little bit of a heads up. Maybe um, Kanan or somebody will steal a camera and just go live, just go rogue. Yeah. I'm not saying that's never gonna happen. Yeah. He's it, just going to take you to lunch with him. It happened today. <laughs> it did happen today. I just deleted those videos. Yeah, they were deleted. <laughs> it was a new app. I couldn't see what was happening. So if I'm specifically going over a little tutorial, I'll, we'll give you guys a little bit of a heads up. If it's going to be a bigger deal, like a longer tutorial where it's something super exciting and a big announcement, we'll give you more of a heads up. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So we just, it, they'll, they'll be different. Depending on the weight of the thing. The weight the of the situation. Situation. Yeah. The gravity of the situation. Okay, now for the back ear, it's gonna be like a really dark brown on the back end of the ear, the right side, and then the front side is gonna be a light brown. Uh, oh, but I would like to say that even if, I mean, like, I understand you guys are at work. I get that. So if you can't tune in during the live while it's going during the day, they'll still be up on our Facebook page. You'll still be able to view them after they're done. Um, so you won't miss it. Donna literally just asked that question. If they, she'll be able to see it. Yeah, well, you guys said, will still said, be able to see it. What about those of us that work during the day? <laughs> She's like, I, mean, I we have work, a job. We work too, Donna. <laughs> Some of us may not be getting paid, but we work. <laughs> no, we completely understand that. We also understand that even though sometimes you're at work, maybe you need a little Facebook break. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm not above that. Yes, Keenan. Irene wants to know if they'll be on YouTube as well. I don't know that, actually. We can make that a possibility? I think it also depends on the in-depth of the live. Like if we're just doing a quick live, like a fun, silly one maybe that Keenan does, yeah. probably won't post that to YouTube. If I'm doing like a tutorial um, or like an animal eye, we'll post that to YouTube. So maybe if it's more educational, it will be YouTube. I don't know though. That's a Heidi question. Well, Heidi's not here. We just gotta make <laughs> we it gotta up make and she has decision. to roll with it. <laughs> We're, I'm like, Heidi, we said it on the live. It's and if it changes, we'll blame it on Heidi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Susan asked when the Halloween tutorials will be. Those are going to be released on October 1st, both of them. So both Haunted House and Skull will be there October 1st. Okay. Back to our painting. So we are going to do our cat eyeball now. So I'm gonna to switch to my round two. And if you notice in our cat eyeball, Keenan, can you do a close up on this? Yeah. The close up camera. We have three sections. The smallest section is gonna be left white and that is because it is the glare. Oh, I think that's when we talked about it. I said eyes are wet. If you touch your eye, it will be wet or something like that. That's why there's a glare. I eyes are wet. Don't remember. I'm sure I've said it. I'm sure, yeah. And then the top section, by the smaller section is going to be a dark green.
green shadow, almost black, and then the bottom part of the eye is going to be a light green. You can change the color of your um, eye if you want to do like blue or whatever you want. I did green, but you guys can. Yellow. Yeah, you can do yellow. Okay, so I'm grabbing green and I'm mixing it with my brown and like some just darker colors to get a darker color. <laughs> Maybe grab a little bit of this black. Okay. Marcy says, are you saying Keenan's screwing around is not educational? <laughs> my son begs to differ. <laughs> Touché. Well, Ford is one of my favorite people, so. Oh, uh, you're right. I guess I shouldn't say that. Kaden, you are smart and you are important and you are kind. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm belittling you and your work. Hey, all these, uh, all these belittling things. I might get a paycheck this week. <laughs> I don't know about that. Are you using a round six or a round two? I switched my round two for my eyeball because it's just small areas. So you want to make sure it's that nice dark on the top. And then, I'm going to grab some green, maybe mix in a little bit of that yellow, and do the bottom part of the eye. And the reason why, if you look on our eyes, humans' eyes, dogs' eyes, cats' eyes, for the most part, depending on the eyeball shape, but for the most part, there's a shadow at the top of the eye because the lashes and the brow go hang over the eyeball. So it would cast a shadow on your eye. And then there's a reflection because your um, eyes are wet. And if you look closely at eyes, in the reflection, you usually can see your lashes. Too. So if you look at a detailed picture of an eye, I think you were talking shadow. about. It's yeah. yeah, I noticed that the other day. I was in my sunglasses, looking down, and I could see the reflection of my eye. And then in my eye, I could see the reflection of my eyelashes. Yeah. So if if you do a close up of yeah. the eye in the reflection, it's mirroring whatever it sees. Really cool. I, I I don't think I've ever been able to see that many reflections. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe you should wear sunglasses and check. Maybe you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's it for our eye. It's looking good. I lost my glare, but that's okay. That is okay. And we actually have some bleed proof white if you want to put it back in. Oh, yeah. So that's why I love my bleed proof white. If you paint over things, you can just bring it right back with white. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are going to move on to the chest. Actually, before I do that, let's just fill in this side of the nose here. This is just going to be a darker brown, this side right here, this. That's why I haven't painted it yet. So you just want to make sure you're mixing a dark brown. I just took some of your purple. I'm sorry. No, I'm trying to make a dark brown. Yep, there you go. Oh. When you get that uh, painted in, can we do a check-in? Yes. Yes, absolutely, we can. Oh. Oh. Now I did this random stroke outside of my nose, but I'm not freaking out. I'm just lifting up that color and pretending like that never happened. There we go. And then I'm just going to use basically water to kind of like right in front of the eye. It's going to be mostly white because of the eyelid. I and then right underneath. What's that? I was working on my nose and my mouth. Can you? Oh, can yeah. I just did a dark brown right here. Just this chunk right on the side. And it's a little bit darker right at the nose. Your nose looks good. Thanks. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Well, let's do a check-in. Can I start with you, Judy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
So we got some good browns going on with our cat right here. And I love these blooms right here on the edge. Mm -hmm. I think that is beautiful. Um, I think we lost the shape of our eye just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, if it's okay if I paint on yours. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sometimes I forget to ask that. And then I realize how rude it is to just start painting on someone else's painting. So I'm gonna put, try and put your eyelid back in just a little bit. And actually, do you mind if I, I think in one of these I have bleed proof white. I'm gonna make you stand up just for a second. Here we go. Is this the first time that you're gonna be showing somebody how to add the bleed proof? Yes, white? yes. So here, um, I guess you guys should know now since we, if you haven't seen, we put up our November projects already on our website and we will have bleed proof white in November. So I'm super excited nice. about that. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. It's one of my favorite, favorite tools. So I took out, um, we won't have as many, we won't have six bottles of paint, but we will have bleed proof white and this will last you a very long time. So with bleed proof white, it's gonna be a lot thicker. It's kind of like a paste and you just add water to it to like get it flowy. Um, and then, so I usually just dip my paintbrush right in it, but you can scoop some on your palette. And I'm just going to put in my eyelid a little bit here and just reshape your eye just a little bit like that. So this is why Bleed Proof White is like so magical because we can reshape things here. And then I'm going to put your glare back in. Thank you. Just like that. And then we're going to let that dry and then I'm going to reshape around it. So this is why I just love Bleed Proof White. It gives us a second chance to work on some things because with acrylic or oil, you can usually paint over something mm -hmm. if you make a mistake. With watercolor, since it's transparent, you can make adjustments, but you usually can't like totally redo something. Bleed Proof White kind of gives you the opportunity to um, re reshape some areas. It's like magic eraser almost. Yeah. Now you don't want to use too much of it because it is opaque. So if you do a lot of bleed proof white. It kind of sticks out where you do use bleed proof white mm -hmm. because it it will change the consistent or the transparency of the paint, but in some areas like that's totally okay. And then I'm just Sharona gonna... says she's throwing in the brush cuz her cat is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and forget the eye. Well, Sometimes you just need to take a break. Yeah, you know what? I understand. I want to tell you not to give up, but there have been times where I'm just like, this isn't working, and I will try again later. And if that is one of those times for you, that's okay. The other thing I would say is I would, I mean, I want you to fill in this brown, like here a little yeah. bit more, because it's making it seem like the back is straight up, where cat's backs actually kind of go like this, the back of a cat. I forgot a line. <laughs> well, I think it was just how our outline was done on the paper. Yeah. So um, just include that back because how it feels right now, just having that straight, this cat feels like this and like it has no body. So if we put a little bit of body back there, then that is going to shape our cat a little bit better. And then um, I'm going to do the black part on your eye. Is that okay? I just want to sure. sharpen that shadow around it because it's these little moments. I really love loose painting, but I love really sharp details, especially on the eye. It's just a really nice finishing um, touch. So I'm just going to go in there with my two, and I'm focusing so I'm not talking as much. There we go. When you guys um, start to or switch the daytime lives, will you still do your let's say, let's make art matter lives? Well, we do them. Either, I think it depends. We did them live today, but the last couple of months they've been pre-recorded. Uh, so I think it just depends on the schedule a little bit, and that will inform us on like what to do on those. We should try uh, an outdoor painting challenge in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's pretty much the same as painting back here since we don't get the heater back here. <laughs> That's true. There we go. Thank you. Yep. Okay, and then let's look at Drea's. Okay, so she has great 
blooms and textures within her cat hair. I think that looks really beautiful. Um, I will say that it looks like it was really wet when you were doing this area. And when things are just really wet, it's hard to get a clean edge. But never fear, because when it dries, you can just go back and sharpen it. So is it okay if I paint? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of round out this eye a little bit more and try and get a cleaner edge on my eyeball. Like so, yep, there we go. And the only other thing I would say besides that is we don't, we have to remember that there is like a skeleton and muscles behind this cat. And so here the head bleeds into the body without really defining the shape of the head. So if you're looking at my reference photo, you see I kind of have a little extra shadow right here because I want to define that head shape from the body. So I would just do another layer of brown that kind of makes this shape. Let me get, oh, 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 I need more fuchsia. <laughs> I realized I didn't have any. So you're, you kind of, so it's going to follow the jawline. So here's my jaw coming here, and it's just going to kind of come this way. So you're just going to want to do another layer kind of right here. And you can make it darker in textures. But just slightly kind of define and be like, this is the head, this is okay. the body. And that way it doesn't seem like one flat thing because if you feel an actual cat, it moves. Yeah. But it's looking good. Jen says ultimate painting, LOL. <laughs> yes, we're 100% gonna do that. Like that decision has been made. I need to invest in some gloves. I don't have any. That's the challenge, Sarah. I know. My hands are going to freeze. No gloves. Ooh. That's the challenge. Then it's also like a five-minute painting challenge because I will get frostbite. Exactly. We're not trying to <laughs> hang out out there. Missouri is miserable in the winter. I didn't know that that was a real thing, but last winter they're like, if you're outside for more than 15 minutes without gloves or hats or anything, you will get frostbite. And I'm like, what? Where do I live? <laughs> what is this place? The frozen place? tundra of the Midwest. Can I show yours? Mm -hmm. So Judy just added the back of her cat, and I feel like that helps it feel nice and full, like that cat shape. It really reshaped it. So it's looking really good, Judy. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the chest part and, like, the, the chin part. So this part is white on the cat, but... It, White areas on animals and flowers and just like white things in general throw people off because you're like, well, white is white and the paper is white, so what do I do? You're essentially painting the shadows. And even if you think some things are white, like if you have a white cat, hold up a white piece of paper next to it and all of the shadowed areas will mm -hmm. pop out like that. The highlighted areas where the light is hitting it directly, that will probably stay fairly white but everything else, all of that form, it will pop out against that white paper. So it's the same thing if you think of like your teeth and also the whites of your eyes. You think that they're white, you hold up a piece of paper next to them and they're usually not. They're kind of bluish and have little pink around the edges on the eyes. Yeah, Keenan looks so concerned. <laughs> so it's true. So I'm going to um, grab, I'm going to do like maybe more of a purpley and pink tone. And I'm mixing a lot of water into it to make it really light. This is where we want our values to be really, really light, like how we practiced in our warm up. So just using this light kind of pinkish brown purpley, I'm going to do the mouth here. So it's coming out from the mouth like so. And then I'm going to use that same mixture and do like these outline tufts of, uh, oh, what was the word I loved? Cluster. Cluster, thank you. Cluster of fur. If you want them to have like a, a tan hint to them, you can. Um, it, it's totally up to you. Mines are kind of more gray, pink and purpley tones. I think my water's getting dark. Oh, too dark here. I mean, sorry, Drea. You can have Drea's clean water. 
Happy birthday. It's her Thank birthday. You. <laughs> <laughs> you get the clean water. Uh. And if you guys are getting your October box, uh, we included travel sets in that box. I saw that. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so fun. And so take your paintings outside. Like, try painting outside. It's a cl completely different experience. Um, but I was thinking when, when I'm like, I have all the time in the world. I'm like, oh, we'll film one of our tutorials outside with our travel pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> travel pants. Wouldn't that be so fun? And now I'm like, I don't know how we're going to do that, but you guys can. Is absolutely. <laughs> well, are you still trying to do that? Considering how our live outside went today, it makes me a little bit nervous. But if we had all our cameras and a how are we going to get all sort? of our <laughs> how are we can get all of our cameras set up outside? I don't know, but we won't need lights. Well, if you figure it out, I'll I'll do it. Can okay. you can you add that to your list of things that you need to do, please? Yes. Thank you. And I am lifting up my brush and letting there be just white areas too. Okay, and then on the other side of the lip, I'm gonna use just water and I'm gonna, I already have a decent amount of color there. So on the right side of that lip, I'm gonna just like smudge my brush a little bit, but the left side I'm gonna leave white because it's like the highlight part of that white mouth. Amy says, tape everything down if you do. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> and um, we um, talked about the travel pans in a video, and also they were in our ads, but we didn't change that information on the website. So for some of you who are blindsided, I'm really sorry, but I hope it was a fun surprise because that's what we want. And every month, kind of going forward, we'll have a fun surprise in there. I, did, I already told you what November is, so it's bleed proof white. But like December will have a fun surprise. So like every month, look forward to those little fun surprises that we will not tell you most of the time because yeah. it's a surprise. Most That's how it works. But you know in advance. You know in advance. I know in advance. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys don't get to know. I get to choose what goes in those boxes. That's what makes it fun, though. Surprises are fun. They are fun. Yeah. I mean, I like them. Yeah. I know that some people don't. I do. Um, Mickey said, I'm assuming, I think she's a couple minutes behind because I think she's talking about the white shadows and the white parts. Yeah, yeah. But YouTube blocked the comment and it's asking me if I want to show or hide it. She said, there are a buttload of whites. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's so funny. <laughs> I blocked so it. I'm probably going to show it. it I'm probably going to approve it. <laughs> Go ahead and approve it. I did, that. I already did. <laughs> so funny. Carol says, add it to the list of things, dot, 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 that Keenan won't get paid for. <laughs> well, if that isn't the truth. <laughs> when we did our live today outside, Keenan was like, he's like, can we do a live just from my cell phone outside? I'm like, you're the cameraman. I don't know. I'm like, you got to figure it I mean, out. <laughs> how are we not going to take any cameras out there? Turns out it worked really well. It was really funny. He's all asking me, and I'm like, I don't know. This isn't what I do. It, take, it did take me about 20 minutes to figure out which app to download for YouTube and Facebook to be included. Karen <laughs> says, Keenan needs a GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're kind of on our last step here. Um, we just have a few little spaces to fill in and then our finishing details. One of them is the nose, and the nose just takes a little second. It's more fuchsia and a little bit of brown because the fuchsia is super vibrant and usually cat's noses aren't like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> that, they're not like that. I'll try that again. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Yes! <laughs> they're not like that. So we got to tone it down with a little bit of brown. Okay, so on the bottom part of the nose, I'm gonna do this darker pink, and on the right little nostril that kind of pokes out, it's gonna be pink, and then I'm going to swish my water, rinse my brush a little bit, and just use water to do the rest of it. We want there to be value change on the nose too. Um, 
Um, my lettering box arrived today, just opening. It's like Christmas morning. Oh, Virginia, I totally understand. Um, our uh, lettering artist, Nicole, does such an amazing job putting her boxes together, and the fall ones just shipped. There's so many fun projects in that, and... Um, I was can I talk about one? Yes. I'm super pumped to get like the huge pack of markers. Yes. <sighs> I love school You're supplies. You're like, look at all of these yeah. colors. There's so many goodies in that box. She really, it's it's just really amazing. So if you um, are interested in learning lettering, you should look at that box because she does an it's amazing so job. Good. So good. Do we deliver boxes to other countries? We do. The shipping is just pretty expensive. But it all depends on which country it is and then the weight of their boxes. But we do have international shipping. Marcos was asking. Okay. Amy and Abby both have an azure blue eye. Ooh, that, that would be great. really pretty. Um, now we're going to do the, the whiskers, if you guys are feeling ready for that. Um, and another little hint that I guess I would say to go along with why we're getting rid of the lives Tuesday nights is because we are planning on, I'm just giving you little hints here, will probably be more than watercolor and lettering in the future. Mm -hmm. And we will run out of days of the week for things like that. And so we thought we need to switch this up so then we can just keep on adding more and more things for you. And then because if we do it like we're doing now, we can only do seven things. Yeah. Right? Because there's seven days of the week. And then we got to get a huge camera crew because Keenan can't do all the things for no pay. <laughs> he has a family. Yeah. <laughs> so that's other. We want to make room for other artists and other mediums within Let's Make Art. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all you get to know for now, my friends. Okay. Let's do our whiskers. Well, first we're going to do our little dots. So if you look at a cat's mouth, where the whiskers come out, like on their lips, they have little dots. Yes, that's also true for dogs. Uh -huh. So get a darker, you can do a dark brown or like a black brown. And um, just, you know, do some rows of dots. And they're not perfect. Some are smaller and bigger. I just found the most fantastic fact about cats. What? I googled cat's whiskers. Yeah? A cat's whiskers, or a word I can't pronounce, vibrissae, uh -huh. are a well-honed sensory tool that helps a cat see in the dark and steer clear of hungry predators. Oh! That kind of blows my mind. I feel like I knew that, but maybe I'm making that up. It's fine. Maybe I just want to seem smarter at the end of this. That's really cool. But I feel like that's true for like animals that have whiskers, like that helps them feel around them. Whiskers are highly sensitive tactile hairs that grow in patterns on a cat's muzzle, above its eyes, and elsewhere on its bodies, on its body, like the ears, jaw, and forelegs. Oh. Well, we do have it on our eyes. See, it's poking out from our brow area. Oh, yeah. And our mouth. Interesting. Okay. So, my friends, this is the, this is the hard part. This part you got to be brave and just take a deep breath and maybe practice a couple more times on your scratch paper because we're going to do our whiskers. And if your whiskers are too thick, it becomes distracting. This is very hard. So please be nice to yourselves. And maybe you have a whiskerless cat. There's nothing. You're making this up as you go. This could be your world. And you're just like, whatever in my world, cats don't have whiskers. And nobody can say anything because you're the artist. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to put whiskers on mine. So I'm going to mix a black. I'm basically going to add purple and blue to my brown. Okay. And then, like I did in my warm-up, after I fill it up with paint, I'm going to pinch my brush. Make sure it's nice and fine. And then we're going to do this. Now, it might be easier for you to do thin lines up and down instead of across. So move your paper however way it is easier for you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I just 
some water. I just choked up my own breath. <laughs> That's that good stuff. <laughs> okay. Gosh dang uh, it. I think I have water in the fridge. Oh. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. That's when you're like, insert blonde joke here or something. You know what I mean? No water. No water? That's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. Okay. Sorry about that, people, that I mic'd right on my throat. Okay. So my whiskers. Here we go. Light pressure. Take a deep breath. Work quickly. Do not press hard. Light, light, light pressure. Even if you're... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I just I do one of these, hoping she'd see me. Oh. Did it work? <laughs> um, I don't know what I was saying. Work quickly. If your whiskers skip because you're doing such light pressure, your line skips, don't stress out. Don't correct it. Just like keep going. So here we go. Here we go. We got whiskers that come out like this and they come out that way and some are straight and some are longer and some kind of curl down. Just like that. Oh, long whiskers. No, that's okay. Mine's long too. Okay. And actually, if you look at whiskers of cats, some of them are very long and some of them are shorter. Whiskers are as wide as the widest part of their body. Dang. What? Mind blown. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like, Eyebrows, you know how sometimes your eyebrows, you get like a super long hair? Like yep. some of them are like normal and then one is like bub bam. Mm -hmm. There was actually Brock yesterday, he had this huge eyebrow hair I sticking. tried to pull it Did out of the Did you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Like... During the entire reading yesterday, I was staring at it. <laughs> I'm like, Brock, you have this one eyebrow hair that's just sticking out like an inch yeah. and I just want to pull it so I bad. I tried to pull it out at lunch. Sorry, Brock. <laughs> Glad that you know what I'm talking about. That's that makes so me funny. so happy. Okay. Okay. So we're also going to do um, whiskers that kind of come off the brow a little bit. So um, I'm just going to do a few. I don't want to go crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's good. And then coming off from the other side of the mouth. Now these ones are not going to be as long because most of them are actually on the other side of the cat hidden. So I'm just going to have a few kind of coming off this side of the mouth. We do not want them as long as the ones that are on this side. We want them shorter because most of them are covered by the head. So this I'm actually going to flip my paper because it's easier for me to go from left to right. It might not be for you and that's okay. And I'm just going to do a few. And I feel like I need one more, but there we go. Okay. Very nice. It looks more like an antler. <laughs> that one got a little bent, but that's okay. He's been in a fight. <laughs> He's been in a fight. He was probably playing with my little girls. Man, aren't kids hard on animals sometimes? I'm like, be sweet to that cat. They're not like hurting it, but they just like squeeze it. Yeah. They just love it so much that they like squeeze it That's so my tight. Thing this is, it's like they love it. They just can't. Uh -huh. stop. They're like face. Yes. They're just like squeezing, and the cat is like freaking out. <laughs> like we had chickens, and Luna's would get like eye level with the chickens because she just wanted to be in its face, and then it would peck her face because no she was way. getting in its no. grill, and she would like cry. Oh and I'm like, God. Luna, you gotta Why give them space. She used to stuff them in her jacket arm sleeves. She would take her jacket off and take the chickens and shove them in her sleeves because she wanted them to be like warm. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Luna. I know, she's so funny. Okay. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I can't. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to breathe. Can you just hand me one of those water bottles? Me neither, but this needs to be solved. Thank you. Okay, um, <clears throat> somebody asked about whiskers on this side of the eye. You can do whiskers on this side. They do have them on both brows. Why I chose to do just one, I don't know. 
that was just the choice I made when I made this project. But yeah, if you wanted to do another set kind of coming off this way, nothing wrong with that. You don't have to. I just did it so you can decide if you want to do it or not. If you don't like that, then don't do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just crying over here because I can't breathe. Okay. <clears throat> I think we are ready. We're going to have to do the janky version. That's fine. What is that? We got to hold up that camera and he's going to walk close because oh. our... Oh, because... That is just fine. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks good. Yeah, just a little hint. A little here and there. They got, they got <laughs> broken off and regrowing. It was, it was in a fight. Yeah. All right, Dre, are you ready to hold your cat up? So what would this style be? I mean, it, it reminds me of somebody. I don't know. I need to refresh my art history. Yeah. Jason Pollock? No. No, Pollock does the splatters. <laughs> <laughs> that one is not Pollock. <laughs> okay. Okay. Janky version of displaying. Oh, they, Kimberly just said, by the way, there are many orange female cats. She said that fact was false. She are said they... the calico one is true, but the orange ones, there could be orange females. Now I can't trust I anybody I feel like I had an orange female cat. I can't remember now. Maybe it was rare. I named it Colby G's because it was white and orange. His <laughs> name <laughs> so was Colby. Colby! <laughs> All right, focus. Okay, focus. here we go. This is, we're gonna, this is our janky. No, it works great. All right, it works Then great. Loretta says 80% of orange cats are male. Okay, so some are female. It's just a lower percentage. All right, so here is Drea's. Beautiful. Nice cat. Thank you. Look at those textures and those blooms. Wonderful. Also the eyebrows from Drea. There it is. <laughs> Sarah. No, wait. Let, do it again. Oh, sorry. Okay. Drea. Oh, wait. No. Sarah. Beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> there it is. I have nothing good to say other than it's great. Okay, great. And Judy. Woo woo! Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful with the pose as, as, as well. Okay. Okay. Come um, back over here. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight and painting. I really had so much fun. And um, thank you guys who tune in with us on our evening live paint alongs. They will be missed. This is such a fun part, and I love the community that we have built, and you guys are so amazing. But just know that um, the changes are for good, and they're a little bit more uh, sustainable. And um, also, we'll st we're still going to have this connection that we have built. Don't feel like we're going away, because you will still get to know me and Keenan and other people in our yeah. company a lot more, and it's just going to be fun. I was going to say that, too, because Amy said... Uh, Keenan, I will miss talking to you. <laughs> He'll still be here. I'll, I'll steal a camera. He is still going to do our pre-recorded. Yeah. And is that a word? Pre-recorded. 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 Yes. And um, yeah, he'll still be there, and it's going to be great. And we have a bigger team now. You guys probably don't know, but we have like twenty. We're a team of twenty now. Yeah. We're huge. And we're growing, and we have some amazing people on our team, and I want you guys to get to know them as well because they're really great. So thank you for those who have stayed with us during these last almost two years doing these lives. Um, if you painted this, share it. I know it's so scary, but um, when you share your work and put yourself out there, it's very vulnerable, but it gives other people the courage to do the same thing. And people respond to it. They love it. They love seeing other people create because then they're like, Wow, that's so amazing. And also, maybe that's something that I can do too. So be brave for other people. You guys can do it. Um, if you're on Instagram, you can tag us in it. Let's go make art or hashtag let's make art. Uh, we have a wonderful Facebook community that is in the tens of thousands. I think it's over 35,000 now. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> it's a really supportive community, a great way to see what people are painting with Let's Make Art and then taking what they've learned and making their own projects. So um, it is a private group. You do have to ask to be a part of it, but it's really wonderful. 
That is called Let's Make Art Watercolor. And then, I'm trying to think. Let's Make Art Lettering. Let's Make Art Lettering. If you're part of the lettering community or just want to learn lettering, we have another Facebook group called Let's Make Art Lettering. It's the same idea except with lettering. It's really great. And then we will be releasing our first um, October tutorial next Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. Yep. And um, oh, one other announcement I want to make. If you're ordering the October kits separately, not with the subscription, they will be liquid paints. And that's mostly because the travel sets you can't break up into kit size. So when I do the tutorials, I'll be painting them with both liquid and pants. Whoa. And so I also thought that'd be fun comparison for you guys. So you'll be able to see side by side how they compare um, and just how to use them. So if you have questions about the tutorials, I will be using both. If you have the subscription, they come with the cake. If you do the individual kits, they come with the liquid. So I think that's all I needed to say. You guys are so amazing. Thanks for hanging out with us, and I'll see you around. Bye.